Welcome back to Wiggins TV. I'm your host, Worldwide Wiggins. I'm back with another episode of Forgotten Hoods of LA. I'm back, season five, episode one. Unfortunately, this episode had to be short because I've got a million things to do. And not only that, you know, my boy is supposed to be helping me with this episode. I was finna throw a hundred more hoods on here, but unfortunately this one has to be short. But I hope y'all appreciate it because, you know, I could have left y'all with nothing, but I, I rock with y'all. So here we go. In the area around where the Playboy Gangster Crips are now, with no disrespect to them, there used to be a hood over there called the Bedrock Gangster Crips. Bedrock Gangster Crips originated back in the 1980s as a small crew named the Bedford Boys. They eventually expanded with time and adopted the name Bedrock Gangster Crips, which I'm not sure how it came about. From what I heard from a homie, they got into it with the Playboy Gangsters and they relocated to other parts of West LA and LA in general for that matter. But they was known for having hands back in the day in they hood and they definitely had some fighters. Now, I'm not gonna say this, you know, out of my mouth, but they were saying that this group was a little bit more peaceful. They was known for A, like like Craig's like Craig Daddy said, you win some, you lose some, but you live to see another day. Squabble up, but they wasn't really too much with the the blam blam. You feel me? But hey, who am I to judge? You know, that's how most of the OGs came up. And honestly, if we would have followed behind them and followed suit, a lot of us would still be here. You know, but hey, you can thank the government for that. For, you know, pushing crack. And, uh, I ain't gonna get too political. All right, next. Without being disrespectful, All For Crying Bloods was originally a tagger crew in the Low Bottoms area. They allegedly got their start from Rolling 40 Bloodstone Par Roof. If you look at this tag, it say Ascot 40 Crime instead of All For Crime. Ascot is a street that run through the heart of their hood. You know, Bloodstone 40 and they in the 40s and crime, so it's pretty much showing like an alliance there. They main streets is 41st, 42nd, and Dorsey Street, aka D Block. They know for having a history of beef with not just the Cribs, but the surrounding Latino gangs like the Vario 38th Street and the Hangout Boys Tressa. In the past, 38th Street waged war with the 40 Bloodstone Power Road. So since AFC pretty much came from them, they rode with them in the war. If you didn't know, 38th Street is pretty dangerous, bro. And they did a lot of damage without getting into any details. Even though AFC not really deep, they definitely survived a couple decades and they still there. I got this info from my boy, Adamu. I'm gonna conceal his identity and say, I'm gonna call the D-Boy. Hey, D-Boy, I was gonna do the shout out to you know who, but you ain't let me know. And I ain't gonna put it out there unless you put the stamp on it. You know, that'll be a symbolized. But holla at me when you get this. Next. think of Baldwin Hills, you might think of rich white people type areas, but that's not accurate, at least not completely. 
the rich people part is up there in the hills and the hood part is like at the at the foot of the hill and it stretched down to like Jefferson area. Baldwin Hills Gangster Crip Hood is a hood that consists of a few blocks of rundown ghetto houses, not no rich area. They originated as a clique called Baldwin Hill Hustlers back in the 1980s. It used to be a clique called DHT at Hamilton High School back in the early 90s, but they all pretty much turned Baldwin Hills Gangster Crip. But the remaining DHT waged war with the Bad Rock Gangster Crip in the early 2000s. It's a known fact that the area where the Baldwin Hills Gangster Crips used to control is now home to a Dabu hood called the Village Stone Bloods, which is a relative to the Black Peace Stones. But a few of the OGs can still be seen around the elementary school and around Corbett and La Cienega to this day. Now, I want to bring up one more point. The first time I actually heard about this hood since I'm not from West LA and I've never really been around this area that much. The first time I heard about this hood was on Big Payback song, uh, Gangsta Love. You know that song right there, rest in peace to Big Payback, man. He say, uh, uh, I got some gangsters off at Baldwin Hills. I remember that. They got some gangsters off in Baldwin Hill. Rest in peace to uh, Big Payback. Shouts out to Wissett. I got something coming up, man. Shouts out to the Folk Trey Gangster Crips and the whole Folk Pack. I got something coming out, man. I hope y'all appreciate it, man. But make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Go add my second channel, man. Go subscribe, man. I'm out of here. Wings!